All right, welcome to Mac Helpers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add tables and manipulate tables in in pages. So the first thing to do to add a page is first open up a document. I'm just using a Blake document here. Go ahead and click the plus arrow up here. And the very next thing next to photos is the table bar. So you can swipe through the different styles. These are kind of, they're all going to be able to do the same thing. You're going to be able to manipulate these as much as you want. But the cool thing is, is Apple's already kind of designated a bunch of different styles and formats for you to use right off the bat. So let's go ahead and take like this most this one that's already got a lot of different colors and styles and formats to it. So you can, once you get it, it's going to have the sidebars, which is these little aisles over here. And then you're going to have to, to click on that, to highlight a table. So let's say you're just, uh, you're typing, this is my data table. So to, to highlight the table, just tap it once, and then you're going to see the three dots on the side. So you can adjust the size of it like that. And then if you wanted to start typing in this text box here, is you're going to double tap whichever one you want to tap in. So you hi highlight, the, highlight the table, double tap the column or the, the, the cell that you want to use, the header box. Then you can go ahead and click the next one. Since you're already typing, it's going to keep that type section up. So column one. Now click on the next one. I'll just call it C2, C3. Okay, and then you could be this. So this is your row one, row two, let's call it R3. Okay, so that's kind of basics of how just to add input data on here. Let's say six. Four, one. Okay, so now, now that you've got that kind of up there, so this could be any data that you want for a school document or if you're doing a spreadsheet for work, um, this is going to be how you kind of add and change stuff on there. So to kind of manipulate it, you, what you want to do now is go ahead and click that paintbrush tool again. Now this is going to really allow you to change it. So if you actually click that, it will automatically change it for you. Really simple to do. So let's go ahead and click on table options. So you can turn on table name, see how it just add table name. You can go back here, double tap that, and just be like, this is my important data. And so it's still highlighted. So now you can go back here and you can click on that. Actually, we just want to go ahead and click on that. So there's a lot of different ways you can do this, but go back to table options. You can turn on the table border. It's not, it doesn't really change much on there, but it does, you can do kind of slightly see it. Alternating rows, see how it automatically turning that when I turn that on and off. So it just automatically does that, so it's a little bit easier to read your font. Now you go to grid options, so you can turn on the horizontal lines or turn them off, see how they kind of go on there. The header column lines. The vertical lines, see how they de automatically deleted those. You can turn on the header rows. See how it added to the column C1, C2, see how it added that. And you can also add it to the footer row lines. See in the bottom green line how it kind of adds those lines there. So you can really just change how the whole table looks. And you can actually change right off the bat what kind of font is in there. Let's go ahead and find one that's, see how it automatically changed every font in that column. It's really cool to do that because if you wanted to kind of just change it around or how things look, you don't have to go through and click on each different cell to do that. You just kind of you have to make sure that just the whole table in general is highlighted. So let's go ahead and leave it at super clarendon. Go back to table options, and you can actually increase the font size, or you can decrease it just like that. So now that those were the table options. Now let's click on header. So you can add different header rows, and let's say you see how it's automatically making those other ones into those other row one and two into header rows. So this is just good. So it kind of just separates your data. So if you're really if you're using this table to create a chart or to create a graph, this is uh, kind of important to do. So let's say you had you wanted your title, and then you wanted you had two rows of of headers. Uh, for example, and then you can actually change the column, the amount of columns you have as well. And then you can also add extra footer rows. 
Now let's go ahead and click on arrange. So that's about it for the header section. You click on arrange. And this was like I showed you if you guys watched the uh, adding photos video, this kind of does the same thing, except let's say you had a bunch of different data, you can change it around. Now let's go ahead and click on since I have text already, you can do it above, around, above and below, or none. So as you can see, it's going to automatically put that text up there. But if I go back here and turn wrap and say above and below or around, it's not really by it, but uh, if, I'll show you in a second. So the extra space, so if I do that there, it's going to see how it kind of it moved it over to the top, over the right here. It's kind of see how it's, I can change it to leave it on that side if there's enough room for it. So you can kind of manipulate around it. That's called the around or you can also lock it again. And then extra space, see how when I add extra space, it's pretty much just like adding a little extra cushion around that text. So like I wouldn't want it like like that, see how it's kind of behind the table, but if I move it like this, I can separate it that way, which is also really cool. So that's kind of it for the uh, basic um, basic table features. Now let's go ahead and dive into it a little bit deeper. So if I actually click on a cell itself and click the 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 details or the paintbrush tool, it actually allows you to change the font and the stuff in each cell. So you can turn it to a bold, italic, and underline and add a strike through it. Your text options are different size, so you can just increase the size per that cell. You can change it to all different types of colors. Let's go ahead and leave it at, let's say, dark. I'll do blue. Let's do let's do orange because that's easy to see. And you can change the font a little bit. You can change and then change that. So you can do really crazy. There's the text options, and then actually I showed you that. Now let's go to the table. That's still the same thing. So this is going to be just your cell feature in that spot. There's your table, table options, your headers again. So this is when you're editing a specific cell when you have that cell highlighted. You actually change the border style so you can add a little, add a full, full border around that specific one if you wanted to highlight the, that specific cell for some reason, or you just want it on the top, middle, center, and you can change it so where the text is actually going to sit. And it's kind of, I might have to adjust the size just because it's. Uh, or I'll just adjust the font because I think that's what's kind of messing this up. Um, but you can really change how everything looks. So um, let's see if I can. Oops. Okay, we'll just go back to this and I'm, I'm going to keep showing you how to do these things. So you can actually change the fill color. So that whole row. Whoops. Undo. Let's um, go back to that specific cell. Click that. And then you can actually fill that color or you can reset the style. So original. Say light purple. Okay, so you can fill that color, border style, and then you can wrap the text in cell. So what that means is, let's say you have, I'll just show you for example. I'll show you in this one. Double tap the cell to bring up the text. This is why you would want to wrap the text in this box. Okay, so that's selected. So now let's go here again and see it automatically highlighted that. But if I click that, see now it just automatically just brings that text all the way across. And so you, you pretty much want to want to keep the wrap on because it just may, automatically does it for you. It makes it look nice and it keeps all the text right in that specific folder. So that's what the, the wrap text does. So there's your text and then you can go, oh, that's border style again. And then you can go ahead and click format. And then this is for the, t let's say you're doing a lot of, let's say you're doing your your bills for the end of the month or for the end of the year, your taxes or something like that. So you can change it from number, currency, percentage. And if you're not sure which one you wanna use, you can click the little, little eye there for information. You can make sure it's like four decimals. You got a little separator, accounting style. Change the type of currency which is pretty cool and you can say whether it's going to be if a negative number is in red or how you want it to look so if it could be in uh, parentheses whatnot so it's a lot of different cool things and it's pretty much a full-fledged spreadsheet and that you're using in pages so that's also a really cool thing to do 
Now you can go ahead and click on, so let's, that's it for uh, manipulating a specific cell. So let's say you wanted to change an entire row. That's what these bars on the left hand side and the top side are as to change the different bars. So let's say I, I didn't need this entire column. You can actually click on that column and just hit delete. Automatically changes all your data. If you didn't want that, go ahead and click undo like before. Let's say you wanted to change all this data. You can or just make this change the size of it. So you can actually grab that little the little two lines right there and adjust the width of it right there. And then another cool thing, so if you go here and you click on that paintbrush again, you can actually change the cell colors for all of that entire column. Or let's say you want to do this row and click there and then you can also click on that again. Let's say you want to do that green and you want to change there's a border around that whole thing and you wanted to increase the font size so it'll allow you to manipulate that entire row. So that's kind of it for tables. Uh, it really allows you to customize things very very fully so um, you can click on that and you so this little I'm sorry I guess I forgot one thing you can actually click on these little the little circles outside there and you could change how many columns on that side or if you click down here on the bottom left you can actually change the number of rows and so and then the last thing right here is the little arrow or the little circle there which is just going to allow you to select everything so that is it for tables if you guys have any questions about how to manipulate a table or a cell or do some, something specific with it uh, feel free to email us at yourmachelpers.com I'm sorry info at yourmachelpers.com or find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash machelpers and post a question on our wall because that will be uh, there will be a lot of people probably with similar questions and it would be better just to be able to answer everybody at one time so I uh, hope you guys learned a lot in this video and feel free to contact us with any questions that you might have thank you Thank you.